This game will make my brain melt, but also my heart break. A similar care is a retro, story-rich, very satisfying puzzle game. It is set in a gorgeous vintage art style, feeling like an illustrated storybook come to life. You play as Maria, a wandering antique restorer who arrives at the town Beradiva, where she will restore the townsfolk's beloved antique pieces. As Maria does her magic, we are included in the stories behind these gorgeous antiques, which seem to be rather heartbreaking in some cases. Which we are here to find out out. Which we are here to find out ourselves. So get your snacks, get a blanket and a warm cup of tea, get cozy and comfy and hit that like and subscribe button before we start. Let's go! Maria's mix. We're at a train station. Oh. This game is play best played with sound. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would have guessed. I'm totally just disassociating, staring at this already. Just okay. Just okay. Dodge. A brain. After a oh. year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course. The forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Let's unpack. Oh, I'm already getting goosebumps. So what we need to pay attention to in this kind of game is not, of course, only the uh, the sound, but something as simple as the visuals. How they they took the same visual background, but made two of them slightly different, so it looks like they're still moving and alive. Click the suitcase to pick it up. I picked it up. I put it down. Or... Oh no, I'm already messing it up. Click the clasps to... Oh, d uh, uh. oh like that! Oh, 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 okay, so pick it up and then do stuff. Okay. That gotta be hot cocoa. That cannot be coffee. Okay, so we got sunglasses. I picked up these sunglasses oh. on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. Hopefully. What is this? Earrings? I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. It was ear rings or wait, what is it? Is an earring? Passport. My passport. Not many blank pages left now. Hmm. Just imagine traveling like this. Restoring. Who doesn't antiques? love stretchy? Practical and stylish. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. For her being on the road for a year, she does not have a lot packed. My parents took this after I made my first repair. Seems like a lifetime ago. Looking forward to taking more close-ups of my fingers with this. <laughs> oh, for those who are <laughs> older or are younger than millennials, this is a, a one-time use camera, okay? One time I'll use. Hand these out once I'm settled in. Fingers crossed they get me some work. I was completely blown away. Oh. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Seems fair. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, 
So I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. So My cute. parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part 1979. of. 1979, that's a few days ago. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. Oh, my face. Oh, I love this so much. Okay. Oh, look at the background. It's so pretty with the watery effect. Oh, it's so pretty. This gotta be hand painted. Everything. It was my first morning in Bellariva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town. Its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Heck yeah, I can, baby! Oh, dearie, I can do that. Don't even worry one bit. I know this looked like water in my mind at first, but I do realize, you know, it's ground. But anyway, let's look. Okay, we got... We got you. Can I twist and turn you? I can. Okay. Let's, I have no idea what is wrong with it, so let's just stick straight into it. I'm not a tinker. I'm, I'm a breaker, but I'm gonna give it a go. A click. Oh, move the mouse. Oh, I did it. Okay. Take this off. Aha. Those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Don't tell me that all we needed was to take her batteries out and give her new ones. Can I please turn this? Oh, thank God. Uh, oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no, please don't make me. Oh no, please don't. Give me that ruined experience, please. Oh, oh. New batteries. And then we put it back together. Vroom. And then click it. Now how do I... Uh... Oh no. How do I... I... Oh no. Oh! Ah. Okay. Okay. The good old rewind Rooney. Why did you do oh. that? Why are we- How did you do that? I didn't see. Am I too fast? Wait, am I too fast for it? Wait, can I show you? No, I didn't mean to. Can I Can I show you, please? Can, can I show you? See? Like this? Like this? Is that, is that good enough? No, I was too fast. She didn't get it. No! I don't, I'm not really good at how to get it. To, to, uh, how do I return it? How do I- uh, Oh, no. no I, I'm ruining the experience. No, no, please, no. Um, there. And, oh, open it. Night. Come here. Get back here. Get your butt back here. Click. Insert. And down it goes. And as the music book plays, we hear a woman sing along. Even though we both know that we must say goodnight. Oh, I'm getting night goosebumps. Night. It's a lullaby. If the game already now tells me her mom is dead and this is the only voice she has of her listening to her mother, I'm, going, I'm just going to end the game. <laughs> when it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. 
Who was that? Please singing? no. They're very good. It's my mom. Oh no! He's not here anymore. <sighs> Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. That's it. Ending the game. Damn it, night! I'm not here. This is too soon. We just started. We're only ten minutes in. This is this is not okay. No. 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 <sighs> Poor baby. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. The <laughs> part I wouldn't be able to fix. I swear to God, this is too soon! We just started! Oh my gosh. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not ready to be hurt this early. <laughs> not, not ready, I can't. My first repair complete, I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach, bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. Is he? Right? I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least? Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. Night! This game! Night! Night! Stop! Night! Night! I'm not ready for this! I'm not, I'm not ready for this art style, though, but I'm not ready! What is... 13 minutes in! Excuse me! It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel, and do you think you can salvage it? This game don't give a shit about your feelings, man. This game don't even care one bit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my heart already, I can't. Night, 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 night. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, let's get our heart broken together, I guess. Fuck. Sir, stay there. We need to do some squish. Oh. Will you be able to see the blue afterwards? Oh. I don't want people seeing the cracks. <laughs> Lots of glue. Eh, uh, sir, which piece of you first? That's a lot of glue. Do I? Do I? Uh, do can I? Uh, what is this? Okay, that's the, oh God, I messed up. I didn't do this very prettily, did I? Oh, thank God, it doesn't matter. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. I, I'm. Oh, I was gonna make a joke, but I'm not. This is. This game is. No, I can't make jokes about what I'm about to joke in this game. This is too. Oh no, no, no. We're not done. More. Lots of glue. I make sure this this shit is stuck together properly. Let's give him an arm. Oh shoot. Let me uh, twist and turn. Ah god. Okay, maybe give him a torso first. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Okay. Glue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Okay, tur sir, sir, turn, sir, sir. There we go. Thank you. Okay. It's time for you to get your legs back. That's fair. That's fair. You know. We all need legs, or not all, but some of us. The most of us, we need some legs. Squish, squish, squish. Wait, sir, what's your leg first? Shit! You're you're wild, sir. Oh god, get back here. You're not night, sir. You're not. Oh god, he's. Oh god, chill, sir. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. Don't worry, I got you, sir. I got you. Don't worry. 
No one will ever... Uh, this will be so glued together. No one will ever be able to break it again. I promise you, it was, it's not gonna happen. Not even the Hulk can do this. Okay. Squish! Ta-ta-ta-ta! See? Good as new. No biggie, sir. I got you. It looks as perfect as it ever did. Here you go. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. <laughs> As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. Getting so many this is not this is not fair! I'm getting so many mad! Sorry. I'm a little <gasps> tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again. I am an emotional punching bag for this game. When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy, to avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Mm. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. <laughs> I'm completely... This game is taking... Like, the cat took my tongue. The, oh my gosh. This kind of... Oh no. Oh fuck. <sighs> my second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful, sunny morning. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria. Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. Oh my god, this game. She said today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. Mm hmm at least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some, uh, seasoning tips, but it won't connect. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? Yeah. Please don't break my heart. <laughs> Please don't break the oh, oh. You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. Don't. Okay, I need to. I need to rotate. You guys need to screw some stuff. Okay, stop. Stop rotating. Thank you. Don't worry. I got you. Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. Well, she's trying to make excuses for there not being any customers because she's sad and ashamed. It's okay, honey. Okay. It's difficult. Um. Potato. Meow. Uh, there we go. Okay. Get back here. Oh, the ding ding broke. Yeah, that broken. That ding ding broke. Drop, 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 drop. Ding ding be broken. Whoop. Take that away. New one. And then the screw. And we. Oh, shoot. And we screw. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. We need to. Wait. Am I too soon then? Do I need to take everything off? Oh, I do. I'm too fast. I, stop. I, I, oh, God. I, I'm not friends with the rotating thing. I'm not friends with it. I go with that. Wait with that. I need to take these off first. Then. Down there. Okay, what happens here? Oh, yeah. That's uh, that's melted. This, this right here is not working. Very, 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 very much working. Uh, we. Uh, yeah, put it there. Take this off. This is trash. Put that in there. Connect that wire. We need another wire with that. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah, we need another wire to connect to the phone. 
And then for the wire to connect to that one, so it, we can hear it ring and when it calls now. Yeah, a circuit, yeah. The circuit was, was toast. Okay. Reassemble. Rim. It's honestly really hard with the rotating thing because I wanted to click and hold, but when you click it, it only stops when you click again. I'm not friends with it, but it's fine. Rim. Okay. And this one. Kichonk. Kichonk. Oh, shoot. Uh, turn around. Ah, chill, 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 stop. Yum. Mm. There we go. Are we done? We're done! Ever dial rotary phone. Oh my god. This is a. This is old phone style. Loving it. I remember my grandma had one of these phones. When I, I had one of these the phones. Phone back to Carmen, oh, she seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. Didn't? Oh, she's not. Oh, she doesn't want to take the calls. Oh, no, she don't want to take the calls. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down. She doesn't want to take the calls. It's ready to go. Huh? It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> and the rent and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. Yeah, money struggles. I sat at one of the empty tables while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. Hello, how's my favorite sister doing today? As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. Monetary issues and with family. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee, her hands trembling. Sorry about that. My sister's decided to fly in for a visit. Oh, God, I have to get ready. Oh, no. Actually, I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? Can you afford to hire her right now if you're in that big trouble of money? Really? Okay. In oh, my God, that's a beautiful camera. In focus. The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Okay, but think about this. She just arrived the day before to hand out flyers, and now on day one, she's already held like four people. And people are asking for her. I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. Are you here about the camera? It's about time. I think I forgot to mention before, but just listen to all the sound effects they add for the storytelling so we can actually hear them walking, knocking on doors and elevators and everything. The woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... So this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Nah. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. I can do my best. Oh, we even have um, the, the layout of how it works. I need to open it. That that's obvious let's get this stuff torn apart where am i going to go go on the screw this is so satisfying okay there we go. i don't suppose you fixed anything this valuable before oh it's a snob much could you not you want me you're my help or what 
Oh, the mirror is very broky, man. Mirror is very, very broky. Oi, oi. the screwdriver. I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Oh. Ah. Yeah, because it has. To... Oi, 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 Jill, 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 Jill. It has to angle up like this. Perfect. There now the go. viewfinder should be working. That's good, though, Ray. Okay, uh, turn. Ah! Jill! This piece first? No. What does it want me to do? I forgot what, what order I did this in. Is it the behind? Is that why? Night, 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 get back on! Stop! Need this in first. Squink. Douche. Hey, 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 chill. Stop, 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 stop. Are you crazy? Die! Are you crazy? Stop. Are you crazy? Oh my gosh. The most unsatisfying person to play this game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think it was screw somehow. I'm not done. There we go. Eh. Da -da -da -da. The camera. That was a very simplified version of how our camera works on the inside, though. That was very simplified. At least our mirror cameras work. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. The first of its kind. It cost me three months salary. But it was worth it. I had I don't no like idea her. what three months salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? Mm-hmm. She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. Wow, I don't like her. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. Yeah, exactly. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally... Yeah, it's money. I get that part, though. She wants his money. If she thinks I'm yeah. lending her another penny... She'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. That's fine. You know, that's a family dynamic because the sister is in the dumps and she's scared to call her sister because she's fear of getting judged, but she needs the money. She should, you know, gathers up the courage to give her a call and then ask for the money. And then the sister gets angry because she feels like all you do is call me for money. So it's like an evil, it's an evil circle. It's an evil circle. Evil circle. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hope Carmen <laughs> was ready. Hurricane Helena. <laughs> hmm. Did it! Next one! Oh, there's so many! Okay. Ooh, a light! A, a neon light of some sort. In the dark. The sun was setting over Bella Riva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside, I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. <laughs> Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds oh. one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it! Yeah, see for herself. She's just trying so hard to live up to her sister's expectation. As you know, she's just gonna get an awful earful no matter what. It's just oh. Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. Trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed yeah. like an impossible task. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Carmen led me to a back room where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but I'm hopeless with electronics. Didn't mean to assemble so it? There was supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain the lack of customers. Yeah, because there's nothing to be, you know, catching their eye. I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. Can you give it a try? Oh, it's cute. It got an ice cream on it. <gasps> oh, she will only have to assemble it, so it's not even broken. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, um, can we uh, twist the Rooney? Yeah, we need to get we need to get to the back so we can assemble all the, the you know the electronic wiring part. We need that. We need that. Skid, oh shoot! Skid do, skid did, but do, oh wait, uh, stop! There we go. There we go. Okay, lift this piece off. Okay, I I'm gonna turn you. 
There we go. Okay, so we need the circuit board, which is... Or the, the star. No, no. Wait, too soon? Not, not there? Oh, wait, I'm not... I need to... No, wait, what? Or is it because it's supposed to be on the front? Or... No. Because it is showing that something has to go there, but it's... This? It's not attaching. No. Do I need to do some things first? Do I need to... Oh, wait, do I need to open this first or something? Could you... Uh, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Could you go back, click, go here? I need to do something with you first. Turn on. Oh, it's because it's the outside of it. Ew. Maybe? No, I do need this here. No, not you. This one. I do need to have this here somehow. Otherwise, you can't turn it on. Wait, what am I missing? I don't understand. How do I? Uh, oh, glue for fuck's sake! Oh, oh, sorry, I cursed. Glue. Of, I, I, I. This is good. <laughs> Excuse me, being unsatisfying here. Okay, I'm sorry. I really am trying. <laughs> That's blue. <bloosh>, there we go. <laughs> we need to connect this wire to that wire. Ta da! And then this back on. Skadoosh. Oh shoot. You go there and I night stop. Rum. Right? Because night night night. Yeah, I, I know I'm trying to turn it. There we go. Okay, so stop. Oh my god. <laughs> I should not be doing this. Oh, wait. Something's wrong here. What are you? What are you? I forgot something? What are you? There's a hole there. There's a hole. Night. I swear to god, could you behave just a little bit? If I click... Oh. Right? I don't know, it's a bit... Uh, yeah, the ice cream is missing! Flat. Maybe if it flashes, it'll really catch people's eye. But what about the Good ice idea. cream? I think I have a spare part that could do that. But what about the ice cream part? Wait, where's the ice cream? That one's missing. Vroom. Turn. Mm. Okay. Get this away. Okay. The glue. Spidoosh. Take this one there. Okay. But. This is supposed to be like this then? Ta da? Now it's blinking. Okay, that works. So now we still need the ice cream, though. Hmm. It still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these. Oh, we choose! <gasps> I get to choose? Oh. I kind of wonder to have. It's not the drink. Ice cream is cute, but she's more a cafe than an ice cream thing. Or am I forced to... It's because there, and there, and there, and... Wait. Night, 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 stop. Don't... No, no, no. There we go. There we go. It's blush. And then use the last wire to go there. And then we turn around and we add... You know what, we're gonna go with the ice cream. You know what, let's go with the ice cream. Squish. Give it a test. Oh, yeah, this is pretty. This works. Very nice. It works. I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, boop. Get this piece on. Take the screws. Boom. Take the other screw. Oh, shoot. Go, take the other screw. And we're done. Da 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 da! Neon sign complete! Oh my god, yes, it's pretty. Yay, let's go! The sign fixed. We headed outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. Oh, 
area. It looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. The smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. Of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, mm. Helena had arrived. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. No, we just made it! And with that, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her. Oh no. Oh, we just made it and she was so heavy and then she just went, no! Get rid of the sign. <gasps> Am I excited for this one? It was the day before the festival, and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. Oh. I'd barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. Psst. Maria, I need your help. Quickly, it's top secret. Oh! It was Izzy, peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned for me to follow her. Hey, Gia. Yeah. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden overflowing with flowers of every color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. The image is so pretty. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse. I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. I love we're just doing this. On the table oh, no. inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I uh, had an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything, but uh, it won't turn on anymore. Aww. Can you fix it for me? Heck yeah! Heck yeah, I can. Don't worry, I got you, babe. I got you. Oh my god, look at the oh the drawings. There's a dinosaur. It is shining and easy. Oh, okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, so you crack this screen, honey. Okay, crack this screen. Okay. See? Let's start by taking this off. Taking that. Let's disassemble it completely and take a look. Oh, you fried it. How do we get this glass out, though? Can I, uh... And then button, too! Damn, girl, you really destroyed this! Damn! So maybe I need to... Yeah. Remove the, the everything. We can take this off. Exactly. And then we can fix the glass. Yep, 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 yep. Very, very nice. So take the new glass. Let's do that immediately so I do not forget. Where did that one go again? Wait, there's only one here? Wait. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three down there. Because there's... Oh, it's different. <gasps> okay. So that one is fixed. So now we need to look here. At least for now we do. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh-huh. Okay. Night. Hey, get your butt back here. I'm not done. And the music part is not working. So that one we need to change. And skidoosh. And that one worked, right? And we, oh, I forgot we need to assemble that one. One and two. And then the one and two in there. And then we, I still have one left that isn't used for something. What is, uh, what is that supposed to do? Wait, I messed up. Wait. What is, uh, missing? Because that, everything is blinking. See, that is connected to... Wait, could make music is it because I gotta do like this, so... Yeah, music is connected. Okay, I got it. Okay, okay. And then this one has to be connected to there. And then I have the this one to there. Yeah, let's go! There we go! Aha! But I still need to figure out how to get the button out. So do I actually need to disassemble this first? 
take this out and then take the broken button and give it the new button. There we go. This one. This one and this one. Yes. Okay. Uh, give it the back. No, wait one second. Yeah, back piece okay. Take the battery out. Battery okay. Where do we put the new game? There you are, you little bit doink. In you go. Do grown ups play games as well? Heck yeah, we do, babe. Absolutely, we do. Oh, shoot. I gotta do this one as well. Kachunk. Shall we try and start it? Oh! Can you show me how to play? I tried before, but it was so hard. If I can! Oh my god, of course I can! Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna show you just how good of a gamer I am, okay? Oh, there's a chicken. Oh, no, 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 we have to take a pic- Oh, shoot. Take a picture. Oh, it's a photo game. Congratulations! Yeah, thank you! Forward adventure! Oh my god, I love- Oh my god, this one was so cute! Her toy fixed. Go watch easy. Watch Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three-inch world of her own. Oh. Well, oh. I better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Don't worry, I got you, honey. Why would he think that? Because, uh, well, I kind of dropped it really hard. At the wall. Little honey got anger issues. Or not anger issues, but trouble controlling her emotions, maybe. Izzy looked down. Oh, it's okay, honey. Her shoes on the okay. warm floor of the playhouse. Oh, baby. Dad said I have to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress. And I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. Oh, and she leaves. With that, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling too. No. It made me think. Had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? Mm-hmm. I was so focused on the adventures ahead of me. Maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. Let's go. Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. It was only then I noticed my favorite <laughs> overalls covered in grass stains. I scrubbed desperately, but it was too late. Maria. What are you doing? What happened to your clothes? I was, uh, repairing a lawn mower. How unusual. Well, do come in. The job I've got for you is a little more delicate. Totally embarrassed, I walked into an orderly room filled with papers and ledgers. So this was his office. Yeah. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's traditional for the mayor to judge food from every cafe and restaurant in town. Oh, Alfonso. I'll be declaring the best chef in Bella Riva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of which. He unclipped the watch from his wrist and very carefully handed it to me. I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? Hey, yeah. Let's go, sir. I'm so good with stuff that's not allowed to break. I got you. Are you sure it will all fit back together? I, I, I've barely started, sir. Give me, give me a chance to at least try. <laughs> okay, we need to open you first. Vroom. Love always. Oh no, it's a watch from his wife. His 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 bye bye wife. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, the main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. 
Yeah, I know. Ah! The cogs look good, though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. Okay. Okay. Uh, reuse the cogs. Uh, we need to. Uh, could you go away? We need to. Yeah, disassemble. Thank you. Go away with that one. Take the cog. That cog. Cog wheel. Roop. Does this one have them thing I need? I don't think so. Nope. Get back here. So we need the big one. No. How do I get this one to stop is the question. Could you please take a chill pill? Stop. Oh. Okay, what do I, where do I start? That one there. That one there. There and there. Okay, so the game does actually give me the option to oh, guess and figure out. It's rather nice. Okay, so you... I, you're too big for anything. Go away. There. There? Yeah, and then the big ass motherfucking cockwheel there. Okay, that part works. Fantastic. Now we need to exchange the glass in this one. Okay, so I need to turn it around, please. Oh, it's the small screws in here. Oh. We're actually learning how to not fix, but you get an understanding of how a watch is working and how they disassemble it when it breaks. Uh, we need the glass. Skidoosh. Then... I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me. No. Yeah, I could imagine. Oosh. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> there we go. Need to get that back as well. Oh, there we go, sir. Watch! Schönfelder Automatic 36 watch complete and it's ticking and everything as I handed the watch back to Joseph my fingers traced over the engraving on the back I hoped fixing this was one small way I could help him move forward yeah I can't believe it's working Maria oh he's Thank so you. happy my wife was a brilliant woman feeling this ticking on my wrist it makes me feel like she's still here <laughs> Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. <laughs> Even with Isabel, I barely see her. And when I do, she acts like she hates me. Come on, she's a child. Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never done. Uh, sorry, Maria. I have to take this. I'll see you at the festival. She's tomorrow. just a child who wants to see your dad and you do your best, I but left, oh I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office, his watch glinting in the afternoon sun. I hoped its quiet ticking would at least bring him some peace during the busy days to come. Oh, it's so sad. She just wants to spend time with his dad. And when he does have time, she's angry because she don't feel like he does anything for her because she works all the time. And again, an evil circle. That's so sad. I projected the bigger picture. When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Helena. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. <laughs> Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. This looks like my apartment. Like, I sleep on a bed with pallets as the frame. <laughs> it definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she was even here. We're having a clear out, or at least I am. Carmen's not helping, as usual. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. Oh. 
She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Aww. Can you take a look? Okay, so there is some emotions to her. She's just sad and angry that her sister doesn't treat belongings with respect and refuse to see where there are opportunities. I kind of get that. I'm not gonna lie. Electricity? The light bulb is broken as f That light bulb is completely smashed. Okay. I'll need to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. Ah, uh, shoot. Yes. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's very, very sensitive. Ah, yeah, yeah. On those lines, and then here. Is it a different one I need? Wait, is this not it? Are you different? Wait. They're the same, right? Why is this not working then? Yeah, that one's correct, but... For some reason, this one refuses to work, or does it work, and I just didn't realize it. Doesn't seem like it does. Wait, wait one second. Is it because- Oh, that's why! Oh, 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 that's why, that's why, that's why. Oh, 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 see, 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 see. Yeah, that is why. There. Trying to touch it again. What happens? There's a wire that needs to be connected to something. Uh, where does this wire need to be connected to? Uh, what am I missing? What do you need to be connected to? Oh shoot, there's this entire piece on th of the top I didn't realize. Oh god damn. Take this off. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh. Typical. Carmen's even managed to get a slide stuck in here. Yeah. Okay, let's get this away for it. Not, not break it, just move it. Let's see. Um. She got the slide stuck. How do we get it out then? How do we get this out? I don't think I have the screwdriver, so I'm gonna end up destroying it, which I don't want. It's a matter of... Inside? Like, underneath anything I can screw? Hmm. <laughs> Buddy! Oh! <laughs> How do I... Can we get this? Can we get this out for a second? How do I... The only thing it allows me right now is to turn it. And I have this, the last mirror that needs to, of course, wow, shoot! The last mirror needs to be placed, of course, but... Still. Mm. Just try? Is that it? Let's see what happens. Because maybe the picture is very important for the story part. You know? I was so excited when I moved to the city. Yeah, it was. Carmen, she looks so sad. Oh. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. Okay. I should make sure I screw everything back together. Okay. We get that out first and then get here. We need to assemble these screws first, yeah. So the clicker's probably what's gonna be needed for the wire in the back. Yeah. Good. Can I attach these at least? <gasps> I can't. Wait. Wait. I gotta do it in correct order. The Night! Let's see. Night! I'm, oh, I'm just really bad at the clicking part. Okay. Um, there. 
Okay, get it to... Eh, no, sure. There, that's fine. And then we need the wire. Get chunk. This. Oh, so we have to figure out why this is broken first, or... Alright, guys, we need the wire! I, I know, but we have the, we have the wire. Because I want me to apply the wire to that one first. Hi! Get back here. Here. And... Oh, like that, because then we do it like this, and then we bring this one out. And do it like this, and cl clickety-click. Oh, shoot, I know. Oh, God damn it. Come here. There. And there. Ah, oh, there we go. We did it now, I think. Right? 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 Oh, we did. When we were younger, Carmen was always following me around. Oh. I suppose she looked up to me. A cool older sister. Yeah. She used to ask me when I was coming home. But I was always too busy. Oh, she missed you! And you know it. Helena was transfixed. Staring at the two young sisters, the projector had brought glaringly into focus. I... Oh, there never we go. Meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. There we go. <sighs> That's the problem. There is no money. I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I have nothing. She's struggling too. Come and thinks I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't. Not this time. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Helena fell silent, shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. Oh. I know I have to tell her the truth. It isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. <sighs> what if I lose her too? Oh my heart! This is awful! Oh, this is awful. She came to tell the truth about how everything is going down little for her as well. And this is her only wants her money, but then she's scared and wants to... Oh my god, it's just the evil circle of everything. Just talk for crying out loud. Just communicate. Otherwise, everything's gonna crash and burn and you'll never talk again. That's what we don't want. The day of the festival finally came. And after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! Thank God you're here. Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? Sure, why not? Helena was supposed to help me run the stall today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe she lied to me. Lied? Oh, did she tell her the truth? Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I'm almost out of my special. She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day off. But she's I being... I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you set it up and make me a spare batch? She, she really is thinking of herself only at the moment. Now we're supposed to cook? 
get this pot okay now she's being unfair this isn't okay this is totally unreasonable okay and then we need that first then we need the middle part so that's the top part those are the arms or wait am i confusing it this one right yeah this one yes like this yeah okay good ah shoot there no, not that one i thought we had need to ha oh, the handle for her there oh that's the handle okay we need the arms Oh, only two arms? It all fits. There. Now to light the gas. Take a match. Oh, do I have to, like, oh, for real, do I have to? Hello? Oh my god, that was how I. Oh my gosh, are you for real? <gasps> Am I supposed to do it like this and then. There and there. Oh my god, we are actually having to cook it. Oh god. I think that pot is really boiling now. Smells great if I say so myself. I'm so good at sibling thingy and pouring over broth. That <laughs> given me. What to add first? Oh god, we have to cook it. Oh god. Uh, one stick, half a st four stick of one fourth what is how much is one fourth of a stick how much is that is that everything that's chopped like one of these because it's, it's butter is that enough half a carrot how much is half a carrot is that half a carrot i don't know two broccoli one two a handful of chopped tomatoes. That looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. A plenty of three wild mushrooms. Okay, that's that's a half. That's so that's one. That's two. And then that's three. Plenty of I guess that's an onion. I'm flying. You're going. Four of those? Is that plenty? A scoop? Then what? Is it okay? Did it do good? Am I? Am I? Am I did, did, I, did, did it do good? I think it did. My part done. Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time, and a moment later, Joseph arrived with Izzy in tow. Carmen anxiously handed them both a serving. Of a veggie broth? That was so tasty. Oh. Can I have some more, please? I'm getting hungry. I want to taste this. Yum, yum. Well, you've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. <laughs> we have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good luck. Oh. Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. Yeah, she's spending time with her dad. Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. Yes, I, I, know, I know, I know. Even when I was a kid, she pushed me when no one else did. Exactly. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then... I've asked so much of her over the years. Yes. I to think how much she actually had to give. Exactly. You can't just expect people to, to save your ass. Take some responsibility. Now you are, but you know. <gasps> Why not? Let's go. The festival finished. I only had one day left before I had to catch my train and leave Bella Riva behind. I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So Aww. that evening, I made my way to the cafe. It was unrecognizable. She'd done it. Best food in Bella Riva. Half the town was outside waiting to see what the fuss was about. Oh. Maria, Maria, my favorite sous chef, come on through. It was Carmen, acting every inch the successful cafe owner she deserved to be. 
Even Helena was there, yeah. serving the coffees. This was the last place I expected to see her after yesterday's drama. I was so gonna say she's gonna end up helping out at the cafe. She has to. Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs, where she brought out an old record player. I found out where Helena was on the day of the festival. Mm-hmm. She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's debts. But then she didn't have much left for herself. So, I've asked her to come and stay with me for a while. We have a lot of catching up to do. Oh, my heart! I wanted to give her this to cheer her up. We listened to it all the time when we were kids. Do you think it has one last tune in it? I will make sure it has. Don't worry, I will make sure, God. I'll I will make the sure. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn this on. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. It turned off. Thank you. Oh. It checked the wiring. Could I please, you know? Oh, we can disassemble it completely. Oh, that was easy. Oh. Problem? This wiring isn't connected properly. Okay, so we need that one to go there. And then we have two wires we need to connect to something, it seems. Everything is green. Wait, was that it? That's the speaker, isn't it? Wait, that's speaker and speaker. Oh, shoot. Wait, I'm, I'm messing up. There. I need to... Ah, shoot. Uh, wobble, 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 wobble. Okay, so that one needs to be connected there. Need to connect it there. If I turn the volume up, I should be able to hear it now. Wait, what about that one? There's something that we haven't used yet. Hello? Turn the volume up. The speaker isn't connected properly. No. I should check the wiring. Exactly. That is the... What, 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 what is that? Episode? Those two are connected. Those two are connected properly. That is the power. But what is the the wobble wobble? The wobble wobble. The the speech beat. Eh. Uh, okay, there are of course only one left that I, that I completely didn't see. So maybe try that. I think that should do it. This record should play beautifully. Okay. Try. Hmm, it's spinning the wrong way. How can I get it to play in the right direction? It must be to do with the motor. Let's see if one of these spares can turn things around. <laughs> the fucking sound. <laughs> that was good. We need to get in there again. Okay. Um. So that that right there is what we need. Uh, this one. Hi. Could you, wait, what? That's the. <gasps> oh, oh, I know, I know, oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, um, disassemble. We need to the yellow. Oh, disconnect first. Yes, yellow, go away, and we need to put you there because you're the spinneroo. And then we need to take this one and put the. No. What are you? You're also a spinneroo. Uh oh. What are you? Also a spin. Uh oh. Is there only one way to figure it out then? No, there probably is. Let's try and error. We do not. Here we go. Let's try. Let's try. How does it sound? This motor doesn't seem to work. Maybe I'll have better luck with a different one. Because we need to use the gray one. We need to use the gray one. Yellow was on, green didn't work, so we need to use the gray, right? Get out there. Gray skidoosh. Yeah? Still a few parts missing. Oh god damn it, I forgot the elastic. Looks like something is still missing. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm just going a little crazy with the spinner rule, sorry. No, I, no, no, no. Could you, could you stop, 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 stop. I forgot the elastic band here. Let's try. Well, it's playing in the right direction. I should check it's turning at the correct speed. Rain of these days, the sweetest word. We did it! I didn't know you could adjust the speed of vinyl players and how how fast it played. That's new information for me. The 
record player's crackling tune must have caught Helena's ear as she appeared a few moments later. Oh. Is that my old record player? I can't believe you've kept it all these years, Carmen. Of course, she kept all the shit. Leaning over the music, they looked just like the young sisters the slide projector Aww. had preserved all these years. Inseparable once again. Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love my sister more. Now it's her time to be the person she wants Aww, to be. it's working out fine. Stay here with her for a while. Make up for lost time. They are figuring things out. Carmen and Helena's oh. relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but they were both prepared to try. And to think, it had all started because of a call Carmen made about some seasoning tips. That just shows how little it takes to make everything the difference. I guess difference. in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. Oh. I wanted to hear their voices more than anything. Call them. But the silence between us was so cavernous. I didn't know how I'd ever find the words to bridge it. That is true, it's scary to make the call if you haven't talked in a while, if there's been something between you. It's scary, it's not just a call then. There's so much more behind it. Oh my god, that's beautiful! <gasps> my final morning in Bella Riva, I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack, but I figured I could squeeze in one final job before I had to leave. Oh. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Inside, I could see Izzy happily testing out her screw driving skills oh. on the back of her cassette deck. She's trying to repair it too, or pretend. You've made quite the impression. Isabel, <laughs> Izzy, tells me she's going to be a repair woman like Maria. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure she could be anything she wanted if she put her mind to it. Heck yeah, she can. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun in ages. Oh. I wanted to give her something before she starts to forget. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It felt alive again. This would be my last repair in Bellariva, but it felt like it was the house that had really been restored. It's a music box. It used to play beautifully, but now when I wind it up, nothing happens. I'd oh. love for Izzy to hear oh, it sing no, again. Oh no, there's a picture of them Can inside with the wife. Oh no. oh no! Please don't make me cry, I'm not ready. Okay, let's... Oh. I'm not ready. Oh. I like how everything is slowly coming together. Everything from something as simple as repairing these antiques or making people, you know. Maria, could you back. add this family picture of us? Oh, yes. Of course I can. Mm -hmm. I'll do that very, very first. Oh, shoot. I need the glue. Oh, shoot. I need the glue. Oh, shoot. Very first thing, we need that immediately. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. This is beautiful. Oh, look at that picture. Look at that picture of them. It's so cute. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, look inside. What do we have in here? Okay. There's a bird in it and a dove and oh my gosh. Here we go. Now we can access this so we can actually get stuff out. Vroom. Gosh. Here we go. I didn't know you have to turn every single time. This is super annoying. I have a window open so it makes sense there would be a fly in here. Vroom. Okay. Take it apart. Boop. Night, 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 That's not what I meant. Night, 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 night. Get it open. Let's take the musical part out. Okay, let's take a look at it. There. What do we have here? This mechanism is completely broken. Yeah, it's I'll bent. Need to take it all apart before I can fix it. This one. This is well, very broke. 
Okay, we need to we need to take this away first, yeah. That out and that out. We need for that to get in there instead, and this one back, so I don't forget it. And we have this one needs to be removed, so that means that no, not that one. That has to be there. I'm guessing, yeah, like the big one there and the small one, right? Wouldn't that be it alone? I think. I actually think this is it. Okay, let's try. Go. Can I give it a test? Perfect. The mechanism is good as new. Mhm. Mm and there's the bird we have to add in the little in the little little drawer, which is a mummy bird or. Oh gosh. Yeah. Let's go. I swear to God, fly, you are ruining the experience. Could you not? <laughs> right. Is it a spare birdie or no? I wanna play it again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Knew it something was missing. Get that, that one in. Oh shoot. Do I, do I need to change the entire mechanism again now? Yeah, I was too fast, weren't I? Yeah, I was. I was too fast. I was too fast. I need to disassemble it again so we can get the mummy bird in. Oh shoot. Um. Last one. Yep. Okay, get the bottom off. On my way. That way. Night. Get here. Or is it a matter of wait? No. Matter of looking at this one. Then oh, put that back. Put that there. Would that be all? I think. Actually, yeah. I think that would be all. Okay. Hi. Yeah. That's there. The legs back. I'm gonna trust. I'm gonna trust. We got this. Can we save the mug? I haven't even. Oh, the mug is the settings. Ooh. I thought we were going to take a slurp of it. <laughs> like, <laughs> in the middle. Like, oh, we needed that. We technically we did, but you know. There. Woo! Oh. There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? Oh, the, sh the the drawer. Sorry. I think that's everything back together. Again. My wife used to sing this song to Izzy each night before bed, but I always worked too late to join them. Will you dream a dream for me? Or I sit by oh your no, side he's singing. And hold you so tight. Know that I will always love you. Even though we both know that we must say good night. This game is not okay! <laughs> My heart, night! Night, this game is not- This is not okay! Oh no, I'm getting snivelly and teary-eyed. This is not okay! so much already. I want to be the father my wife wanted me to be. Oh my gosh. I've ended up so much like my own father, working all the time. Izzy needs me more than that. <sighs> Especially now it's just the two of us. Mm -hmm. My daughter comes first. Well, not till she gets bored of her stuffy old dad anyway. Mm -hmm. I'll never ever get bored of you, dad. <sighs> Izzy came running into the room where Joseph scooped her up and onto his shoulders. Is it not okay? She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I've never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for everything. The things you fixed for me, I 
I'm so glad to have them back. Joseph was a good father, and I could tell he was determined to be an even better one. When it came down to it, that was all any of us wanted. A second chance to make something right. My time in Bellariva was almost over, but before I left, I knew there was something of my own I needed to fix. I swear to God, this exact one with Izzy with the music box and the record play in the beginning, I can't. Oh, my heart can't handle this. I have to pack again? <laughs> my time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. <laughs> the people I'd met, the items I'd restored, they taught me so much about what was really important. <laughs> Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop. Oh. The day I left. Stole it, nice. Afterwards, I was too ashamed to call them, to apologize. It was the guilt I'd been carrying around every day since. As I packed, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. Do we have to pack it again? We have to pack it again. Okay, there's a few added items. The clothes first. Helena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. Oh. Oh, it's memories night! Oh, the veggie soup recipe. The recipe for Carmen's special. I'm under strict instructions to guard it with my life. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough. Mm -hmm. The soundtrack to my travels. Yeah. I'll be listening to this on the journey. My train ticket. I can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. Why did we get a dinosaur? Izzy gave me oh. this in exchange for my repair manual. She'll be a pro in no time. My parents would love Bellariva. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. <clears throat> oh, fuck. My suitcase my was heart. full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bellariva behind. But I hoped that, in my own small way, I'd made a difference. Helena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw things through my parents' eyes. I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us. But I finally felt ready to talk to them. I just didn't know if they would feel the same. Did I even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you? Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps. And this is the whole developing team. I want to see if there's something else. It's I see a star. Yep. Heck yeah. Herman's letter. Is it going to read Dear that? Maria. Yeah. Come in here. Sorry I haven't written. The cafe's been absolutely manic since you left. Luckily, I have Helena here to help. You wouldn't recognize her. She's like a new woman. She's always running around, taking orders and making drinks. I even heard her compliment a customer on their outfit. Personally, I draw the line at fluorescent green bowling shirts, but each to their own. It certainly made the customer smile. She misses the city, though. Bellariva's many things, but it's definitely not as chic as she'd like. 
She said there was a coffee shop near her old apartment where they made coffee with a shape drawn on top. Mm. It got me thinking, I'm an award-winning chef. <laughs> I can figure out how to put a leaf on a cappuccino. A bit of cosmopolitan coffee might be just what Helena needs. <laughs> of course, ordering a new coffee machine was the easy part. I wish you could have seen the mess I got into trying to put the thing together. <gasps> We're gonna assemble the coffee. Yes, we are! Come here. I can do this. I can do this. I saw Maria use her screwdriver a million times. Taking this apart will be easy. Uh oh. One more screwing. Mm. Why though? I did it, but why? <laughs> more screwing. Okay, let's do it. Let's everything. Everything. Mm. I'm learning so much from this. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so... Oh, God. Do we even have a... We have a cookie. Do we have a manual? No, we have to guess. Very nice. Or... Wait, what is... No, no. Okay, uh, no manual. Okay, never mind. Uh, get back here. Okay, so we need the circuit board down here, right? Okay, chunk. Well, we need to figure out how to... Uh, that's... That, how is it gonna... What? <laughs> I am not a wire, okay? Okay, uh... The, 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 the three is they go down to that one, which is... What? Three to that one. Focus on the pipes first. They look easy. Uh... <laughs> now, I'm gonna do this because I feel like it. So, we have that one to that one. That, yeah, down there, down there. Yeah, that one. Holy crap, I did it. Ah! I, I don't know the others. Maybe, maybe start with the pipes, yeah? Maybe, yes? Oh, not that one. That one for there? I'll need to connect all the pipes correctly to stop the steam pouring out. And then that one to there? And then we need this one for there? Hey, go away. I'm not done with you. I'm done with you. Right? And then... Uh. Where is that connected to? Is this confusing me? Wait. That steam doesn't look good. There must be something wrong with the pipes. Along those lines? Or is it? Is it because I need uh I need a uh, I need this one there and then this one there and then we have something. Uh wait stop get get back here I'm not done with you. Is there something with that one? And with there? Oh, shoot, I got this entire thing. I forgot. Oh, I forgot all about this one. Finally. And here I am doing it. Holy crap. Okay, I did it. Okay, and then we have the wire of the zoo. The zoo. And then we have the, the zoo. The zoo. To. Let's do it to one. No. But I, nice job. I haven't connected it to something underneath either. If I do it like this. That count? That did count! Oi! And that to that. And I count. Okay, then we need you connected to that one. Wait, was that everything? Oh no, over here I forgot. Oh, I haven't done anything. Is your number three? And your number two? No. Reversed. No. There and there. That should be all the wiring. Should be all the wiring. Should be is a good, good. Yeah, should be. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't say I did it right, so I'm a bit scared I'm doing it wrong. You know what? Only one way to find out. Plonk. I think that's everything. I did it. Test the buttons just to make sure. Okay, uh, let's try the steam version. Steam works. What a works. <gasps> All done. Be 
piece of cake. I did it. Time to make my first coffee, I think. I, I did it. Uh oh. Oh god, we're making the coffee. Whoa. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh. uh, 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 uh here and we need this the, the, the stamp and then we need the mug. There you go. And then we uh. Then we stop. We stop. And then we st stop. It smells delicious. Now to make it look magical. All right, yeah, but how do I t t twist it? Turn it? What? What's going on? I thought I was supposed to. Psh. No? No foam? No, no, no. No? No. What? Am I. Am me? Wait, I'm not ready. Uh. Night. All right. I've, I, oh, okay. I'm. I'm. Oh, that looks like. No. Wait, what am. Uh. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to make coffee or thing, Mijingy. What what am I supposed to do? There's no drawing. What am I supposed to do? Just poor, poor, poor. I don't know. A cup. Mm, the perfect coffee. Yeah! Checkpoint! <laughs> and a couple of Helena's favorite <laughs> I made a check! We got it. Good for us. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Can I please place the, uh, the mugs? The? Oh my god. Look at. Oh god. The biscotti cookies. Oh, they're so good. Those cinnamon cookies. Oh, they're the best. Okay. Got it. I was feeling more has been than coffee queen by the time I'd made a drink fit for human consumption. It looked a bit, uh, mm, postmodern, but knowing Helena's refined tastes, I hope she'd think it was intentional. <laughs> Always the connoisseur. She didn't even bother to look at it at first. She was so busy wafting it under her nose. Steamed up her glasses, of course. How was she going to see my work of art through an eye full of fog? <laughs> when she finally spotted it, though, she was totally impressed. Yeah, I would too. I'll admit, she spent several minutes trying to figure out exactly what it was I'd drawn. She decided it was probably a horse. Bah! <laughs> well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. It was a horse, of course. She was impressed enough to ask for another one. I guess I'll need to get some practice in. The whole thing was such hard work, Maria. I never realized how difficult it was, all that mechanical stuff. It made me realize how much I have to thank you for, so I wanted to say that now. Better latte than never. <laughs> <sighs> Hoping you're well. Your friend, Carl. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, this was amazing. Oh my God, this was beautiful. So unfair how much this game hurt me. My poor- what's gonna happen if I say quit? Is it gonna quit quit? No, I don't wanna quit the game. I wanna have it here for, for a sec. Oh, this was beautiful.